Rock and Robin and the Magical Tree. There's a magical place for you and me. There's a magical place for you and me. Not so very long ago, little Robin Redcoat lived with her parents in a farm town by the sea. Her house was warm with the smells of cinnamon buns fresh from the oven and the sounds of music with mum's piano and dad's guitar. Robin was the quietest little girl, always smiling, but she rarely uttered a peep. Yes, she was quiet, but cheerful, fun and playful, though she had yet to find her voice. On the first day of summer, a bird landed on her windowsill. A red-breasted robin with the brightest belly and the darkest tail feathers. This little bird had just come from a very special tree, and she was drawn to this particular window as she'd never seen such a lovely flower box overflowing with blooming red petunias. The bird heard the music playing in Robin's house and added her own song. Tweet, tweet, dee, dee, tweet, tweet. Little Robin Redcoat felt that song flowing from her fingers to her toes. And to her delight, she began to sing along. Night was falling. So the bird flew away to find its own safe place. Oh, but that was a wonderful night of sweet dreams for Robin. She remembered the soft shivers from those notes, and she dreamed of flying with the birds. Falls from the sky, spreads her wings, flies on the breeze, blowing by. Free is the bird as she circles the world, knowing her loved ones are waiting for her. Day. Robin's dad came into her room and he heard tweet tweet Robin's first words she was calling for the bird just at that moment the bird returned to her window it was the beginning of Robin's love for all birds and the start of her love for singing for the first time she noticed all the different birds in her yard As Robin grew older, she sang wherever she went. In front of the house, behind the house, upstairs and downstairs, quiet songs and loud songs too. Some birds liked her quiet songs while other birds enjoyed her loud songs. But Robin was still always watching for her special bird. her special bird appeared again. Robin followed her to the trees behind her house. She did not watch her feet or where she was going. She tripped and fell so hard that she banged her knee. Ouch! When she looked up, there was a big orange bird looking down at her. Hello, Robin. The bird was talking to her. A dodo bird at that. Hello there. What's your name? asked Robin. My name is Dorothy, said the dodo bird. How did you know my name? asked Robin. Your house is near our tree, said Dorothy, so we hear your voice all the time. Especially when you're rocking the loud songs. Some birds even call you Rockin' Robin. Robin exclaimed, We? You, You mean there are more of you? Oh, yes, said Dorothy. We live in a magical tree, and we all love to sing. Remember when you sang with one of our birds? Her name was Little Red. 
Well, now let's go meet the rest of my friends. I'll take you with me to the magical tree and we can all sing together. That was the beginning of a long and happy story and the end of this story. The end.